Hey, friend, this is going to be your December 2020 uh, general and love reading. Um, we're doing one of these for December, right? So let's go jump right into it. And let me grab my Aries nine card spread. What messages do we have for my Aries for December 2020? Happy holidays, everyone. That's what we got. What's going on with my Aries? Okay, I'm seeing in the recent past areas, you've been cultivating an environment in which you want to be able to pursue your dreams in a more organized fashion. I'm seeing that you've been tapping into your heart space very much so and taking care of things at home, trying to create a new vision, rearranging everything in your life. You're making sure things are where they need to be. You're attaining this balance. And you've had an ego death, some new evolution about how you see the world, how you see life. Everything is evolving. And right now in your heart space, you're feeling a lot of love uh, for your life right now. There could be an air sign on your mind or a Leo. I'm seeing you're very satisfied with the way things are in your life. But it could be that uh, you've been waiting for a very long time for this fire or air or water sign. Um, it's someone that you feel like you really can't move on from. It takes a big piece of your heart and you be, may be missing the passion. I'm seeing this was a situation where you uh, were excommunicated by somebody, but you're not letting that affect your dreams. I'm seeing it's, it is something you really wanted though. However, you have a sense that is going to all come together because all the other endeavors that you've been undertaking are going well. So even though you may be feeling like right now it's just very silent, you're not really talking to friends or any people around you. Um, you're trying your best to emanate love and it's working. Uh, you just haven't told anybody. It's like you want to hold on to what you can do um, without rushing back into communicating with people. You don't want to tell people about your vision, your new vision about it. Sometimes you may be feeling like it's going slow. But the balance that you've attained after this uh, clarity concerning possibly a third party situation or something at work where you feel like you had a deep argument. It could be something like that. I'm seeing uh, the steps you took to heal your emotions are what are pouring back into your life right now. Maybe you feel like something on the work front is not taking off as fast as you would like, um, but I'm seeing it's changing you, it's evolving you. And you're embracing that evolution. Clarify the Eight of Cups reverse. For my Aries. I'm seeing there's a an Aquarius on your mind, it could be. Um, someone you feel like was not helping you heal your emotions. So you took yourself out of that situation and thought about it long and hard. I'm seeing maybe for five days or five weeks. Maybe five months. Uh, this thing is has been plaguing you for the last eight years but i'm seeing you've been having those you've been asking yourself the serious questions and you just feel like you may or may not have been manipulated in the situation or that your manifestation did not come the way you wanted it with the magician reverse clarify the star reverse what, what why is this there if the pentacles are right i'm seeing you've done a lot of internal soul searching about your future and about your work and it seems that you want to you want things to take a new turn and you're doing that by force because you've processed pain in where things went wrong before in your money sector and your friendships and it could be that you're leaving that behind you're leaving the past behind because you don't live there anymore um i'm not seeing you forget about the person but i'm seeing that you're remaining vulnerable to the future that way 
You're not letting the past drain your energy in some kind of way like that. I'm seeing maybe you've lost hope in uh, reuniting with this person. It could be that you had a very uh, strong connection with them. But from what I'm seeing here is that you still have family to take care of on your own with the Emperor here. You're showing up. Clarify the Emperor. What is Aries taking care of right now? Justice. You're trying to keep things in your, your life um, stable. You're trying to keep things in your life that nurture you. I'm seeing that you may be uh, researching a lot these days, learning about how to maintain some kind of integrity with the people around you. I'm seeing you could have, um, maybe you took a long break from college that was not intended. It may have hurt your um, situation. I'm seeing your financial situation or some kind of image of yours. I'm seeing you're starting to repair those holes, Aries. But you really wanted a commitment of some sort. But none of this stuff, none of these issues that you have are keeping you from being happy. 555 five, five on the clock when I said that. Alright, so um, it is really amazing. Like, Aries, the energy I have for you here is that you're feeling the sun no matter what. You're feeling the ace of cups no matter what. But I'm seeing that there could be uh, some passionate communication missing from your life. There's some kind of energy you wanted to assume, but... It just didn't come together the way you would have liked. And you're not taking this thing out of your heart. Clarify the Eight of Cups reverse again. Strength upright. I'm seeing maybe you're taking the best course of action when it comes to um, your growth. You just don't want to waste time waiting around for anything or anyone. Because your other goals are coming true with the Nine of Cups. With the Five of Pentacles under that, I'm seeing that your health may have been suffering pretty bad. But I'm seeing you're not in that place anymore. Sometimes you're still getting caught up in this this hamster wheel of overthinking. But I'm seeing you address any unhealed corners of your life. You're not going to let this corrupt you for December. Let's see. What is a me three card message for Aries in the final 10 of December? Let's see. Last 10 days of December. What would be a three card message for them that they need to hear? What's going on with Aries? The Illumination, Third Eye Awakening, Three of Cups Reverse, and the Two of Wands. I'm seeing you're going to be alone at the end of December um, due to some kind of betrayal. It may be due to a third party situation. No one likes to hear this kind of thing, but I'm telling you, any part of Illumination, when you get this clarity about it, it will make you feel happy. You will be able to maintain the sun because you got the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. I'm seeing the Six of Cups Reverse and the Nine of Cups Reverse. It, it could be you decide to go another direction. Um, I feel this was something that you really did have your passion and dream set in it. You also had a, a stable plan for, I mean, a plan in the works. You were drawing up a plan to have this, but I'm seeing it could be that, uh, you might meet someone new. It could be overseas, eight of wands and two of cups. I'm seeing it could be someone from another country, another city. It could be a Scorpio. Or Aries. Aries, the Fool Reverse. So I'm seeing that you're trying to focus on keeping more honest people around you. I'm seeing like that's the main energy of December. And because of that, it may be very boring December. Like you may not even end up talking to anyone this December because of how uh, dishonest you, pe you feel people from the past were. Uh... But I'm seeing you heal about it. I'm seeing the people that you may have butted head with, may have butted heads with, are not healing. And I'm seeing you attain balance, and you have the sun already. But some parts of you are feeling the star reverse, like that's unhealed. That could be manipulation. That could be uh, darkness. It could be lies. You know, it could be clinginess, like the star reverse. But I'm seeing that more for your competitors or your the people that are associated with the story rather than you because. You had the sun next to the Ace of Cups. So that's like saying you're feeling abundant love. Even whether there's a person there or not, you're feeling abundant in love. And I'm seeing that may be coming from you taking care of a business that you've um, pushed off for a long period of time. It could be that there's people dependent on you, but you were not taking care of them. And it could be now that you've awakened to how selfish some of the things you were doing now that you took your energy away from some of those negative attitudes and 
uh, habits. Now it's going into your positive attitude and habits. And you're seeing like an instant return on that investment in your health. Okay, Aries, that's what I got for you for December. It's gonna be an awesome month. I know it's kind of murky waters, but keep sailing, friend. You know I got you on that. All right, take care. Love you. Bye.